All right friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Vue 3 application and in this video we will be working on adding speed alert and I will show you how we can install speed alert and use in our Laravel and Vue 3 application. So let me show you what it's gonna look by the end of this video. Here we have the specific appointments and if I click on this delete icon, we see this beautiful pop-up box and this is coming from speed alert. So if I click on yes. Then after the appointment is deleted successfully, then we again see this beautiful pop-up box here which is saying that deleted and with the message appointment has been deleted. And I can click on OK and that appointment got deleted from our table as well as from our database. So throughout this video we will be building this exact thing. So now let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's start by installing Sweet Alert in our application. So for that we will be using npm. So let me go to installation section and let me copy this let me open up the terminal and do npm install speed alert 2 okay this got installed successfully so let me go to the user section over here and to use speed alert we'll be using es module so let me copy this let me open up the code editor and let me go to appointment list and at the top of this file we are importing swall from sweet alert 2 and then we'll be creating that method for deleting the appointment so let me create that method const delete appointment and we'll be receiving the appointment id for now let's just do alert and let's say here and we need to call that method so let me search for fa trace over here over here let me add hashtag and listen for the click event and prevent the default behavior and we'll be calling the method called delete appointment okay and then we'll be passing appointment dot id now let me try this over here let me click on this icon and we see this alert message which is perfect now instead of showing that alert message we'll be showing the speed alert confirmation dialog okay so for that let me go to example section and let me search for confirm dialog and let me copy this code let me go to delete appointment method and let me paste that over here let's indent it now if i try this click on delete then we see this beautiful pop-up box which is great right if I click on yes then it will do nothing but it's just displaying this success message but it will not delete that specific appointment so we need to work on that functionality so first of all let's delete this specific appointment from our UI so let me go to this section over here on inside of this conditional we'll be adding the one line of code and here we'll be setting the appointments value and its data as we are using pagination so appointments dot value dot data and filter through each appointment we'll be filtering through each appointment and we'll return the appointment with id is not equals to the given id over here okay so it will remove the selected appointment that we cannot delete so let me try this we have this name and if i click on delete click on yes then that got deleted from our ui but if i refresh this page that appointment is not being deleted from our database so we need to work on that part so to remove this appointment from our database we can perform the xgs request so let me go over here and clear the xgs request to delete the specific appointment using api slash appointment slash id and we'll be passing that id and then we'll receive the response and let me put this code inside of 10 block so let me copy over here let me paste it let me indent it and this is perfect but still this will not work because we haven't defined this endpoint so let me go to web.psv file let me go to the end and over here let's create the route to delete a specific appointment so route delete 
and then api slash appointments and then the appointment over here let's call the method called display let me go to appointment controller and let's create that method public function display receive the appointment and then we'll do appointment lead and finally let's return the response session with success is true with the status of 200 let me save this let me refresh it let me try to delete this appointment yes delete and that appointment got deleted from our ui and if i refresh that page and it is also removed from our database as well this is great and if i click on delete again if i click on cancel then it will just hide that pop-up box which is great so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one